Did you know that in 2023 alone, over 410 million tons of plastics was produced worldwide? Yet only roughly about 10% of that was produced from recycled materials. Luckily, that's all about to change thanks to Valmet's new plastic chemical recycling technology. Let's go and hear more about the hottest talk in town. We're here inside of Valmet's Research and Development Center with Pekko Marjoma. So Pekko, let's start simple. What is pyrolysis? Pyrolysis is a thermochemical conversion process where the feedstock is decomposed into gases, liquids, and solid residues in the absence of oxygen. Pyrolysis enables the production of high-quality recycled plastics, suitable even for sensitive use like food packaging. Okay, well, Valmet typically focuses on technologies related to biomaterials. So why is Valmet interested in plastic recycling technologies? Well, plastics are essential part of our everyday life. Plastics recycling is key in meeting the global sustainability and circular economy targets. By efficient plastic recycling, we can significantly reduce use of fossil oil and decrease carbon dioxide emissions. So why is chemical recycling necessary? Can't we just stick with traditional recycling methods? Well, traditional mechanical recycling handles efficiently plastics for producing products like plastic bags, buckets or garden tools. However, it doesn't really meet the strict quality requirements for certain uses, such as food packaging. Chemical or advanced recycling, on the other hand, expands the usability of recycled plastic significantly. And is the majority of plastic recyclable through pyrolysis? Yes, pyrolysis effectively processes most of the plastics we have in the world, such as polyethylene and polypropylene, which are commonly found in packaging materials. It also handles polystyrene, which can be found in insulation and packaging materials as well. So pyrolysis helps us meet the EU plastic recycling targets for 2030, where 55% of packaging plastic needs to be recycled. Exactly. In fact, the EU mandates that food packaging must contain at least 10% of recycled plastics. To meet this, Europe needs to chemically recycle about 2.5 million tons of plastic each year. Pyrolysis is key to achieve these ambitious targets and even higher goals. Wow, that sounds great. Why did you choose to focus on this technology? Walnut has an extensive and innovative history in food aspect and pyrolysis technology development. Since the start of pyrolysis development, Walnut has several patents either granted or pending. Furthermore, Walnut adopts a comprehensive life cycle approach, offering everything from key technology and automation systems to maintenance and spare parts, helping our customer to achieve their circularity targets. Well, thanks, Pekko. That was fascinating. Is there anything else that we should know? Just that, if you need equipment delivery and project solutions for chemical recycling of plastics, Walmet is your trusted partner. 